What's going on everybody back again with another cooking video and today I will be cooking my Fry Supreme taco meal and today I want to show you guys how I make my Fry Supreme and taco meal so let's get this video started all right guys now let's start the video off by just showing you some of my ingredients and items I will be needing to make my taco meal Fry Supreme so as you can see here I got some paprika some boulon powder chicken powder some onion powder, some Cajun spice taco spice seasoning. I got some fries here, cheese whiz, sour cream, cheddar cheese, some of the vegetables there. You can see the green onions, lettuce, tomatoes, red onions, and regular onions, salsa, and also the taco. And as you can see there, my daughter is just sleeping. So, yeah, just another day. So guys, here are the items that I'll be using to cook my ground beef as you can see here. Uh, just take a minute to pause the video and check it out if you need to. But before we get into that, I'm going to start off by uh, putting my fries in the oven and baking it at 375 degrees for at least 30 minutes. I also want to keep an eye on it. Now that the fries are being baked, the next step is let's cook some ground beef. So what I did here is I got a nice big pan. I put in a nice medium high heat, grab some oil, and as you can see right here, I'm just stirring around the pan and just letting it spread out all evenly. And once that's done, you want to add in your onions and red onions. And once it starts sizzling, you just want it to stir it occasionally, getting it to a nice golden color, which should take only two to three minutes. Once it's reached that golden color, you want to add your ground beef into the mix as you can see right here the color is looking nice and golden to me just about perfect so I added in my ground beef and the next step is just to add in the ground beef and just break it down and uh, just let it come to a nice simmer and at the same time you want to stir it occasionally to make sure your ground beef is cooked nice and evenly so make sure you keep an eye on it making it simmer for about a minute and then nicely stirring it occasionally now, once your ground beef is cooked nice and even, you want to now add in your seasoning taco mix. After that, I'm adding in some onion powder, as you can see a nice amount right there. Next, some paprika, and also a nice amount. That's probably a half a spoon. Now I'm adding the Cajun mix, a nice, nice dash right there. As you can see, I do have a lot of ground beef here prepared, so uh, everything is all eyeballed. Now that chicken bouillon, and after that, just stir all the ingredients together. As you can see, it's looking nice, it smells good. Now guys, after mixing all those ingredients together, you want to add a nice, a little amount of water as you can see right there, just to make it a little moist. And after that, I'm going to add in some green onions, and then I'm just going to stir it. And this should be the final steps in making my ground beef seasoning for the tacos. And after that, that's it close the heat and you're ready to move on to the next step which you can see here are the ingredients for the cheese sauce for the fry supreme so let's get that started all right and now for the cheese sauce so grab yourself a nice pot put it on a nice medium high heat add in your butter or margarine and let that slowly melt also adding in a nice amount of milk as you can see right here it's not too much of an amount and once you've added in the milk, you want to also get some cheese whiz. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it at the same time. And I'm going to add in my cheese whiz, which is about one and a half spoons. And uh, once that's added, you want to lower your heat into a nice low heat. And just let everything simmer and melt. And at the same time, give it a nice stir until it reaches the point of where everything is just dissolved inside the milk. And all you can see is like a nice yellowish cream. Once you reach that point and you know the temperatures are low, you want to add in your cheddar cheese. And uh, the more cheese you add, the more creamier it will be. So that depends on you, as you can see. Once you've added the cheese, give it a nice stir. And make sure, guys, like I said again, you want the heat to be on a nice, very low heat. So just let everything melt and dissolve into one, to a nice creamy texture. And once that's done, all you have to do is close the heat. The cheese sauce is ready. Uh, your fries should be cooked by then, you know, after that 30 minutes. But like I said, make sure you always check on your fries. 
as you can see here the fries are ready so after that I'm just gonna put it back in the oven and I let it cook for another five minutes and at the same time I'm gonna take my hard shells put it inside for the five minutes remaining and once that's done close the oven grab your fries out add in your cheese sauce as you can see here I'm just putting it on top and yeah it's looking really really nice nice and creamy after you add the cheese sauce you want to add in your ground beef mix into that as you can see I'm just putting it on top spreading it nice and evenly and right now guys it's smelling so good I am just uh, my mouth is watering just uh, ready to eat this but uh, yeah I have it spread on top after that you want to add in your sour cream it depends on you you can add as much as you want wherever you want as you can see here I have it in the middle of the, the ground beef and after that I'm just gonna add a nice sprinkle of sliced tomatoes freshly sliced tomatoes and basically after that all I'm gonna do is add in my uh, sliced green onions and that's it guys fry supreme meal taco meal done uh, you guys definitely gotta try this out this is the way I make it uh, really really tasty all right guys so that's uh, how you make some how I make my tacos as you can see here you get the fry supreme here you get uh, some soft taco some hard tacos some of the sauces that you could put on it you could also put like different ingredients so I'm just gonna make one hard taco right now We'll grab some of that ground beef. It's still warm right now, so add a little bit of cheese on that. Some lettuce. A little bit of tomato. A little bit of salsa. And final, some sour cream on top. And same thing goes for the, the soft taco. So that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm about to chow down.